Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party. Huh, that's weird, I'm usually interrupted by an explosion. Well, I guess in this case this is gonna be a great one because we're gonna be reviewing the new podium vehicle, the BR-8. We're gonna be taking a look at the exterior, the interior and of course customizing it in Los Santos Customs. And since I do own all other three F1 cars, I'm gonna be able to verbally compare them. And with that, let's go outside and see- Of course. If I'm gonna be interrupted, why do I even bother? Anyway, rant aside, this is what the BR-8 looks like in direct sunlight. And I promise you the old set on the right is not from many of my cars. Probably. But back to the BR-8, even though I called it an F1 car in the beginning, I was corrected in my last video that it's actually an Indy car. What's the difference? I don't know. Who cares? I don't know. But this is what the exterior looks like and I think it's very bold and beautiful. Legitimately my favorite F1 car. See what I did there? As for interactivity, we can't expect anything to open here. So I guess that means the car better have awesome customization. And there's only one way to find that out, is to go to Los Santos Customs and actually customize it. But before that, let's take a quick look at the interior. Oh, that's right. There's no interior. I mean, there's a cool steering wheel with a rev counter, but that's about it. But more importantly, let's listen to how it sounds. Sounds good. And next is the almighty all-wheel drive test to see if the car is rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive, which this one is not gonna be. And nobody's hair is blown away by this, I hope. This is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And with that, it's time to make our bumpy but hopefully successful journey to Los Santos Customs to customize it. Hey Bullsheep, what's that? Thanks for asking, viewer, I'll happily explain. This is the current ratio of people watching this video, subscribe versus unsubscribe. Less than 16% of the people watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So I'd like to take a second and say a couple of words to you. Yeah, you. Yeah, why are you turning around? I'm talking to you. I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh yeah. How you doing? Uh, I mean, please subscribe to the channel, you'll like the content. Probably. Or at least you'll be able to tolerate it. And hopefully that short side note distracted you from my horrible, I mean awesome driving. As I said in the beginning, this is my first time driving the BR-8, and I gotta say, it feels very good. It feels like a proper F1 car, Indy car, open wheels car, whatever you wanna call it. And even though this is the stock version, I gotta say, it feels very impressive. It might be the best out of all four. And with no more embarrassments left, it's time to just make a U-turn and get into Los Santos Customs to customize it finally. Ah. And as we do with every visit to Los Santos Customs, the first thing we do is upgrade all the performance options first. This way we're not gonna neglect anything on the performance side, which is, let's face it, the more important out of the two. The other one being customization. And as you can see, I was a little bit distracted here because I was literally repeating to myself to show you the sell value of the car. I did forget to do it for the past couple, but I did remember for this one. And that's what's important. Oh yeah, and for people who insist that I'm not winning the vehicles every week, you. Huh, that's new. I'm sure I'm not gonna abuse it by the end of the video. And speaking of the video, we're almost done with the performance options. And ready to start customizing. And starting of course with the front wing. I gotta say, skimming through the list of customization options, I wasn't very impressed. Keep in mind, this is a 3.4 million dollar car. It's, as of the making of this video, still on the top of the list, meaning it's the newest vehicle added to the game. I was expecting a little bit more maybe. But at the end of the day, maybe it's all about quality and not quantity. So let's see what we have here. I have to say, aside from the front wing, which I really, really like, I'm not blown out by the customization so far. Some people might even call it So let's see exactly how much time it's gonna take me to run this one into the ground. I really hope the YouTube algorithm doesn't pick up all the bleeps as curses, because otherwise I'm Okay, so now we know. Took me exactly a minute and a half to ruin it. But more importantly, let's direct our attention to the vehicle. And apparently Rockstar for this vehicle went with the low quantity, high quality route. Even though everything's very limited, I can always see something that I like. Or maybe I should have put that in past tense because we're at the spoiler section. I'm not a huge fan of the spoiler options for this vehicle, so I decided to go with the stupidest one. You know, the people say go big or go home, so I decided to... Well, technically go home. But go big as well. And I'm also happy to say that you can choose from special custom racing wheels if you want to spend an arm and a leg. And for me personally, the speedster wheels are gonna do it, because they're one of the cheaper ones. And since this is an open wheel class car, we can choose from several different tire design options. And amongst those tire design options is my favorite... Oh, I can't say that either? One second, I'll take care of that. There, 
no more sensor. And as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, my favorite tire design option, Fakuru! Which leads me to another exciting thing about this one, and this is this week's poll. And for those of you who are not subscribed, this is another reason to do so. And without any further ado, this is the poll for this week. You guys had to choose between 5 matte colors, and the winner of the 5 is Lime Green. Thank you so much to everybody who voted, and hopefully you are gonna participate in the next one as well. I'm really getting a kick of destroying my cars this way, what can I say? And with the matte lime green selected as the primary color, we need to choose a secondary color to match it, or completely contrast it. But after thinking for a couple of seconds and then taking a close look at the vehicle, I decided the best color for it was gonna be red, to match the FUKURU! Nah, this one's not red enough. Perfect. And at this point there's only one thing my life-sized Hot Wheels car needs. A better driver, but also it needs, so I guess it needed two things, but it also needs rims to match either the primary or the secondary color. I'm in it to win it after all. My dream is when people see me on the street to say, there's bull sheep driving by, and to wave their middle finger at me. And for me to say, you. Now I guess the sensor's back everybody. Doesn't matter, we're done with Los Santos Customs, it's time to go out, see how this looks in the sunlight, and test it out. First thing I gotta say is the car definitely looks better in the sunlight than it did inside. That's not saying much, but I don't wanna cry myself to sleep tonight. And with that, it's time to take our headlightless indie car that looks like the topping for a New Mexico chili dog and see how it performs. Even though it's not apparent to you yet, the car performs drastically better. And as I said in the beginning, this might be the best open wheels car in the entire game so far. Traction, perfect. Acceleration, perfect. Turning radius, perfect. The driver's a little bit iffy, but everything else is fine. And I've been getting a lot of requests to shut up for a couple of seconds and just let you hear the car, so here we are. Wow, that ended abruptly. Not unexpectedly, but abruptly. This vehicle is extremely fun to drive, and very responsive. You just need to watch out for the floaty car mechanics, and once you have that in check, you'll be fine. I'm not crashing on purpose, I promise you. I'm just crashing because it feels a little bit different than the other three. Not to say it feels horrible or even bad, it just feels different. And even though I showed this at the beginning, I didn't mention it, but the car also has turbo. It's that really cool, kinetically charged turbo boost that all open wheel cars have. It recharges automatically as long as you're not pressing the gas pedal, and if you press the brake, it recharges even faster. It's sort of like how Tesla uses the brakes on the car to recharge the battery. And with that said, I don't think I cannot not recommend this car to anyone. If you're looking to race with it, it's a great car for that. If you're looking to have fun with it, it's a great car for that as well. As long as you remember which floor has the platform. And depending on when you're watching this video, you might need to spend over 3 million dollars for it. And I'd say, that's worth it. And if you're watching the video in the week it was released, then this is the current podium vehicle. I swear, these things just happen. As I was saying, this is the current podium vehicle and then this is a no-brainer. It's a great looking car, as long as you don't pick my color palette. And I think with that, we are at the end of the video, unless I crash one more time. There we go. Thank you so much to everybody who watched the video, hopefully you liked what you saw, and if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Everyone counts! Subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you're one of the 84% who are not yet subscribed. And with all that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm fast, I'm furious. Oh.